How sad is it that it's kind of a big deal to see that this character doesn't just come with one set of alternate hands, but two, and both of them are just open palms for the key bless. Well, at least you got options, I guess. From the Bandai Dragon Stars line, this is Android 18. Now, if you were to sit me down and ask what my favorite Dragon Ball character is, there's a few people who come to mind. Frieza, Cell, Piccolo, depending on which arc basically Gohan. <laughs> but in all honesty, one that's always up there is Android 18. I can't think of a time where I didn't like Android 18. Like I think that GT, Super, even some of like the movies have treated 18 pretty well. Not as well as she was back in the Android Saga where she was like the single biggest badass to ever live. But I mean, at least they never, I don't know, brawlied her. That said, I'm kind of excited to see what this figure is like. I have had it before, but I was kind of in a so-so state of mind back then. Now that I'm looking at this with clean eyes, let's see if the figure is actually solid or not. And what do you know, it's one of the best figures in the line so far. Um, yeah, messing with this figure, it is incredibly solid. Definitely one of the better figures I have seen from Dragon Stars. And it comes down to, one, it's a good design, it's captured well, the articulation works, and... As much as I hate to admit it, because I was joking about them, those more splayed open hands actually do a great job of simulating firing a key blast, more so than these hands do. So, at least there's that, man. But let's talk about some of the other cool parts of the figure. The head sculpt is decent. It's not the best Android 18 head sculpt I've ever seen, but it's not the worst one either. I do wish that maybe the forehead wasn't so pronounced. It is pronounced on Android 18, do be fair, but I don't think it's quite that large. Also, as you can see, the chest is a different shade of color from the neck and the head. A little bit jarring, but the outfit looks great. They do have the red ribbon logo here on the back. Then you have Universal here at the shoulders. You also have a ball joint at the head, you should probably mention that cut up here at the upper arm you have double jointed elbows and a deep one at that universals at the wrist you have a good diaphragm joint universals at the hips though no drop down just do the skirt i assume you have double jointed at the knees once again very deep double joints and you do have universal here at the feet the only issue i really have with this figure right is if you articulate down here there's a chance that you're going to pop the arm off it does pop back in but that's not great so make sure that you're using the shoulder specifically to move the arm. Uh, it's annoying, but at the same time, it's not anything that would just absolutely ruin the figure. Like most Dragon Stars figures, the only accessories are hands. You get two closed fists, two open hands, great for key blasts or some poses, and then you have two more kind of grabby hands. Uh, usually these are for key blasts, but quite frankly, the open hands are much better for that. If I could have wished for a better or a different accessory, maybe different heads but also maybe a different um like uh, a jacket because android 18 also wore the black vest though then again there was a different shirt underneath that one uh, i don't know i'm kind of just spitballing here what i'm really getting at is i wish these figures came with better accessories at least alternate faces man it'd be nice and say it with me now vegeta is way too goddamn tall still <laughs> But, Android 18 does scale with everyone else in my small collection. Scales incredibly well with Perfect Cell, specifically. That is a wonderful scaling for those two characters, and quite frankly, that's, out of this lot, the character I would most care about, because Cell has the closest connection to 18 out of any of these. I will say, I really need to track down the Dragon Stars Krillin and 16, I already, or rather, 17. I already really wanted them both. Seeing how well 18 turned out just makes me want them more. But a figure they've not done yet is Android 16, and I would adore to see him. Seeing as how that figure art's Android 16, though a wonderful figure, is also like 400 bucks nowadays. Dragon Stars, at the end of the day, is an easy line to figure out. It is a cheaper alternative to figure arts. It is a discount line that is enabling you to get a Dragon Ball collection without absolutely breaking the bank. However, some figures, like, like this 18, Perfect Cell, even to some extent the Broly, all show that this line has great potential, which is weird to say considering it's also like five years old at this point. And there is a decently high ceiling for the quality of these figures, if nothing else.